YouTube, what is good, man? It's your boy Duffy. I already know the vibes, man. We're back with another daily video. Before we hop into today's video, man, y'all already know what to do, man. Go ahead and drop a like on the video. Let's go ahead and get this video to 30 likes. And if you're new to the channel, man, do not forget to hit that subscribe button for your boy, man. We're on the road to 3K. Y'all already know the vibes, man. Make sure you have your notice on, man, for the daily videos, y'all. And I'm going to put my Twitch up right now. And make sure you follow my Twitch for the daily streams every single night, man. We're going crazy, man. And, uh, yeah, man, yeah, I need to go ahead and get right, man. Let's go get right, man. This our year. We're going crazy with the daily videos. And um, I ain't going to waste too much more of y'all's time, man. Let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Yeah, if you're hearing this, man, you done got caught lacking, man. Make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, y'all, man, as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, man, today I got the top five most overpowered defensive badges in this game, y'all. These badges, bro, they literally clump up the best of the best, literally, bro. You, these badges, bro, they go crazy. They turn your player up, bro. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. We're gonna go one by one through all these badges. I'm explaining to y'all exactly what the badge does and how it'll make your player better, y'all. So basically, starting out with number one, we're gonna start off with clamps. Clamps, when we look at clamps, defenders have access to quicker cutoff moves and are more successful when bumping or hip riding the ball handler. So basically, when we talk about clamps, it's basically being able to stay in front of the ball handler, being able to stick onto him. So he does not move or like get around you basically and clamps in this game is definitely a necessity bro defense as it is already it's kind of bad because you always sliding so like clamps it literally helps you stay attached to the person you're guarding so yeah man clamps you definitely gotta rock with clamps in this game clamps is definitely number one ain't gonna lie to you number two uh yeah number two is definitely intimidating and we look at intimidator Offensive players have less success shooting when contested by players with this badge. Also boosts the shot defense ratings when tightly guarding an opponent. Basically, if you do not have Intimidator on and somebody like pulls up next to you, near you, in front of you, they're gonna make the shot, bro. Intimidator makes people miss. And this badge is definitely a necessity, bro, because if you do not have this on, they will score the ball over and over and over on you, bro. Unless they're just ridiculously, like ridiculously contested, but more than more times they're gonna score the ball on you if you do not have this badge. This badge helps out so much, especially if they're paint mashing you and they going to paint on something dumb or any of that, bro. Like Intimidator helps them. I mean, helps you make them miss like all the time. Now number three, I would definitely have to rock with Pig Dodger. Pig Dodger helps so much on this game because when you're going like let's for instance one on the twos court. And you got a big paint beast setting screens on you, bro. Paint pick dodger just allows you to get through all those screens. And I definitely rock with it, bro. Them are my three badges right there. I rock with off rip, bro. Them three badges I always go with. When we look at pick dodger, it improves the player's ability to navigate through and around screens while on defense. Just like back what I said, man. It it literally lets you get through the screens way easier. If you don't have this on, bro, you will get bumped, you will get put on the ground. <laughs> it's all bad, y'all. So make sure you rock with Pig Dodger, bro. I'm telling y'all now, bro. Pig Dodger is definitely a necessity. All right, now for number four, man. Number four. We're going to definitely rock with Interceptor. When we look at Interceptor, the frequency of successfully tipped or intercepted passes greatly increase. Now, Interceptor, bro, a lot of people throw scaries on this game for some odd reason, bro. This is a 2K. I've never saw so many scaries being thrown. And Interceptor helps you get those passes through the lanes. Like, if you do not have this badge on, you will always, like, when somebody throws the ball through the lane and you tap square, you're literally going to miss. Like, it's just, you're just going to look crazy in the animation because you do not have the badge on. Now, when you put this badge on, you will get better animation steals. By saying that, I mean, like, you will tip the ball way more. You will intercept the ball way more. Like, your player just, like, gets more aggressive. And without this badge on your player, it's just like soft. Like, I just, I don't know. It's really weird, bro. So I definitely rock with Interceptor. Interceptor helps out so much, especially with the scariest people throwing this game. It's ridiculous, y'all. Like, literally OD ridiculous. 
Now, for badge number five, bro, I could not, I couldn't really pick a number five because it's really two badges for number five because I definitely rock with both of them, which is definitely Rim Protector and Chase Down because these these two badges are definitely a dynamic duo. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. All right, now look, when we look at Chase Down, Chase Down boosts the speed and leaping ability of a player when he is chasing down an offensive player in an anticipation of a block attempt. So basically, if somebody gets past you in this game and they try to go up in the paint or like put up a layup or a dunk or any of that, your player will literally leap and block the shot. So like, even like, like when people ice on you and they get past you, you can easily chase that block down, like literally chase down. Like, I don't know how it's the footage, but like, Chase down helps so much because you literally like it's just a bailout for you because you get beat you can still have a chance to block their shot now when we look at rim protector rim protector improves the player's ability to block shots unlock special block animations y'all see what that says unlocks special block animations and gives a boost to the takeover meter for the blocker and a blocker's teammates following a block now when we look, forget all that other stuff in this. When it says unlock special blocks, your block can be as low as like a 30 or something like that. But I'm telling you now, if you put rim protector on bronze and chase down artists on bronze, your block, your uh, block animation that you get on your player is ridiculous. You do not need a high block to get a block in this game. I don't know why, but when you put this badge on, you get those unlock special block animations. It's, it's ridiculous, y'all. Because, like, I don't know how to put it for y'all, bro. Like, rim protection and chase down is OD, bro. That's why I couldn't put just a fifth badge in this video, bro. I had to put it, I had to put two extra badges for y'all, bro. Because, like, these two badges go so crazy. They go back and forth, hand in hand, literally. And the reason I definitely like rim protector as well is because it gives your takeover a boost. The higher your level on rim protector is the higher you get in your takeover boost. So basically, if you have it on bronze, you won't get much of a boost, but you'll get some. But when you compare to Hall of Fame, man, that take that takeover meter, bro, it goes up. I ain't gonna lie. Like one block is literally three fourths full. Well, not three fourths. I want to say yeah, three fourths full. It's like it's not all the way, but it's up there, literally. And if you get two blocks with Rim Protector on bronze, bro, I mean Rim Protector on Hall of Fame, you're gonna get takeover. It's literally ridiculous and OP, bro. But these badges right here, bro, are definitely the top defensive badges, bro. If you got the badge upgrades to put them, bro, definitely put them on, bro. They, like, they go crazy, bro. And, like, when we look at the regular guard, they got about 9, 10. This is definitely what I rock when I put on my guard, bro. This is exactly what I run, the exact badge lineup that I run on my guard. Oh, I have Intimidator, too. Yeah, this is the exact, exact badge lineup that I run on my guard right here. I rock clamps on silver, intimidate on silver, pick dodge on silver, rim protector bronze, interceptor bronze, and chase down bronze. The reason why I run them three on bronze is because, for one, rim protector gives you the special block abilities. Along with chase down, you get the chase down block from behind from those special block abilities. And then interceptor, so you can get the interceptor animations. Without, inter without this badge on, you will not get the animations for the steals through the lanes. Without this badge, you will not get the um, special block abilities. So make sure you rock with that, bro. This is exactly what I rock on my guard, and it works just fine. I still get through picks. I still get through them. Intimidator, people still miss when I'm near them. And clamp so I can stay in front of the ball handle, bro. Like, exact badge lineup that I run right here. It's literally OP, bro. But I really ain't going to say too much more in this video, man. Y'all really get the, get the concept of what I'm trying to tell y'all boys, bro. But... If y'all enjoyed this video, man, man, go ahead, drop a like on the video, man. Get the video to 30 likes. If you're new to the channel, man, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, man. You feel me? On the road to 3K. And, yeah, make sure y'all turn y'all notice on, man, for the daily videos, daily uploads, every single day, man. And, um, make sure you follow my Twitch, man, for the daily streams as well, man. It's, but it's been your boy, Duffy, man. I really appreciate y'all boys. And, uh... If I see y'all boys in my next video or my next stream, I'll see y'all boys when I see y'all, man. I'm out.